It's one story told from multiple perspectives. So, so in the game you play Jack, as we saw, and in the show you follow the other side of the story, what, what's happening in the enemy camp, you know, inside Monarch Solutions. Every episode, there are four episodes, each one of them is turning out to be about 22 minutes long. That being said, we shot about 40 minutes of content for each episode. It gives them the player real agency and a really unique experience that they've been, they drove. The game and the show are interleaved uh, in the intended experience. You play through an act of a game which uh, climaxes or culminates into this, what we see as a player-generated dynamic cliffhanger. Uh, and we are calling these junction moments. There are mainly four very interactive uh, players, so Sean isn't so much in our store because he's in his own hero journey, but when he shows up it's a big impact and it makes perfect sense within the whole experience. Um, the others, yes, we were making sure that we were checking in at all times, that if this happens here, is that okay? If, you know, if something dire happens to one of them, are they needed to be in some major scene in the next that, that would be prohibitive. So, yes, it was just constant communication between Remedy and Lifeboat to make sure that we were in constant sync, and that was one of the biggest challenges. Um, but with time and a lot of care that went into it, we I think we were able to do it pretty well. You take control of Paul Serene, a bad guy who has this time power, where he can see glimpses of different potential futures. And you, as the player, control him and decide which future becomes the reality in your Quantum Break experience. And that's where the act of the game ends. And at that point, we unlock the next episode of the show for you.